Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're heading into the fish room to do the one thing you should never do with an aquarium. Last video we left off on the big fish transfer into the 75 gallon that we set up the video before. As you may know, we are expanding and remodeling the fish room to make it a little bit more presentable. We started off the remodel with the 20 gallon double stack rack. In the bottom tank, we have the African clawed frogs and the sun catfish. They've been doing well in there. I don't have the lights on right now because I don't run my lights during the day. I usually have the lights on at night so the whole room glows with fish tanks. In the upper tank here, we have a school of platies with a lot of bright colors. We also have the thick lip grommy and the German blue ram doing well and then deep in the cave there is the gray bicher. Everybody seems to be doing well in here except for the German blue ram who seems to have a little bit of a fungus on its fin so I might have to take care of that here soon. After the double stack rack we set up the 75 gallon here so we could transfer all the big fish out of the little ponds that we had. We got Seve the gold severum in here. We have Balthazar the Oscar fish. And then hiding in the dark are three silver dollars. So, so far so good with the new tanks that we're setting up in the fish room. They're all acclimating well and starting to get seasoned in. And I also have some existing tanks, which brings me to the title of the video today, doing the one thing you should never do with an aquarium. And the one thing you don't want to do is move an aquarium without emptying out the water and the fish first. Luckily, this aquarium is one solid glass bowl and I don't have any seams that are siliconed. If you're going to be moving a square or rectangle tank that has seams and glass panels glued together with the silicone, you're going to want to empty them out completely first before you move them around. You may have noticed that I didn't post in a while and that's because I needed to get some work done here in the room off camera before we can move to the next step here in the fish room. And that next step is to get this five gallon bowl set into its new position. While I was taking some time off, I built myself a new desk and editing station I can work at. I'm finally going to be able to sit straight while I edit my videos now. I can slide my knees under this desk. I'll put a picture up of what I was working with before and it was a little awkward to sit at. But I have some really nice old rough cut walnut lying around that I got from my dad's dad. So I decided to make a desk out of it and I think it turned out really nice. I did have to cut off some extra here and that is the piece that we're going to be using to set up this five gallon tank. Up pop. This was the piece left over and it's just big enough to hold this 16 inch bowl. So I cut some straight square edges on the sides here and then I took the sawzall and I just did an arc moon kind of curved end here just to kind of soften it on this corner so it doesn't stick out too much just like I did on the desk corner there. I also have a six by six here stained up that I'm gonna use as a single post leg and some shelf brackets and two by fours that I'm gonna help stabilize the shelf with. This is not gonna be a shelf or an aquarium stand that you would be able to buy or find online. This is something I'm creating from things that I have lying around the house and it's pretty much just custom to me. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have available. I also have this really nice old barrel that I got from my grandma's house and I wanna slide that right underneath the shelf that this is gonna be sitting on. I don't really have a practical purpose for this barrel yet. The top does come off and I can store things inside of it, but I don't really know what I'm gonna use it for. I just didn't wanna get rid of it. So I really like the barrel. We're gonna be integrating that underneath this tank here. I like old things and I'll find something to use it for. So I think my plan with this tank is to lower the water level so it's not as heavy. I'm gonna move it to the end of my desk here. I originally was gonna have it on the end of the desk. That's why it hangs over the wall 16 inches because I was gonna keep the tank right there. But then I decided I wanna keep the extra desk space open, but I should be able to set that bowl on there for now while I pull this stand out and get the new shelf mounted. If you haven't checked out my website yet with nature designs on a bunch of different products, make sure to check it out in the link down below. There's a lot of different nature designs on the site, not just ones associated with my YouTube channel, but just nature designs in general. But I'm going to get started on this shelf because tomorrow we have something big coming in. We used to have the mini ponds over here against the wall with the cichlids in them, but we got all that cleaned up and now we have open space to add a new brand new tank. I have a friend that's ready to give away his whole 110 gallon tank and setup with all the filters, the stand, everything along with it, including including the creatures inside. It's kind of a package deal, so I gotta bring the creatures as well. That's probably gonna be next video, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And we did lose one of the mollies that we had quarantining in this tank here, so we only have the one black molly. This one probably still will get moved over with Scar, and we also have a bunch of the little baby guppy fry in here that are raising out. This bull is gonna get a makeover as well, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get to that in this video. We should be down to about a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half, and I should be able to easily pick it up and move it over there without shaking it around too much. If you had any bigger fish, you probably wouldn't want to do it this way. You could probably take the fish out to a separate container and then move the tank, but since these fish are really tiny, I shouldn't have any problem. 
All right, I'm gonna check the hoses and the cords here, make sure we have enough slack to make the little travel distance here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pick this up now. I am gonna try and keep it nice and level so I don't slosh the sand and the gravel around. It's not light. It's, it's not light at all. Oh, it was stuck to the desk a little bit, that's why. I think we're good. All right, now we can get to work. Oh, I'm gonna drug everything off with that. I already made a small shelf under the desk here to hold the air pump and it can wrap right around and go to the tank, which is gonna sit right here. I'm gonna be using this central stand here to hold the majority of the weight. All right, we got the shelf stand hybrid thing all mounted up and secure. Now we can transfer over the bowl. The only issue is this rough cut walnut, as you can see, kind of has a hump there in the center. So it's not going to be level to set the tank on. So for now, while I put the tank up here, I'm going to be using this egg crate foam. It's not the best thing to use, but it's something that I have. This will help even out the weight distribution across that hump on the wood. It's definitely not what I was going for. I am going to switch this out to something a little bit more practical and something that looks nicer. So I want to get this moved over to the shelf today. So I'm just going to have to use what I have. Huh, pup? Huh, buddy? You want to go back outside and see your birds, don't you? Hold on. We're almost finished. So I'm gonna have to look online, probably have to buy some neoprene foam for this tank to make this look a lot nicer. But let's get it moved over. And we did it, the tank is on its new stand. I am liking the way that the shelf sits just above my desk, so I'll be able to see the whole tank while I'm sitting there editing. I said it before, but we are gonna be overhauling this whole tank. We don't have time to do it today, but we have some algae on the sides that I wanna get cleaned up, as well as do a full new scape for this tank. But I needed to get this up out of the way so we can bring in a new tank for this space tomorrow. The only thing to do now is to fill it back up with water until it's time to rescape it. And I also put this shelf up above. I'm planning on filling up with some terrariums. Well, eventually. But I think this works out perfect and I'm still able to get inside this barrel if I ever want to store something in there. Go! Well, that's going to be all for this one. We got the five gallon in position. So now we have space to bring in the new tank that we're going to pick up tomorrow. And we also have some rescue animals that are going to be coming with the fish tank. I am planning on getting some more consistent content posted on this channel, as well as doing some more shorts. So if you want to follow along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that like button before you leave. And you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching.